Really good fun. It's a bit cheeky how much they nick from Rocket League. If I were their lawyers, I'd be giving them the rest in bitch face at the very least. So it's golfing cars, very fast paced. You don't have to worry about how many shots you take. As long as you get it in the hole faster than the other players, you're all good. The courses are all very well designed and are littered with boost pads and shortcuts for you to take advantage of. There are gates you can hit the ball through to get more distance and set up a good follow up shot, but they disappear for a few seconds after another player gets them, which caused a bit of annoyance for me because it gives the person in front too much of an advantage I thought. Control wise it will be very familiar to anyone who has played Rocket League, though it's not quite as precise. Hit boxes are fine for the most part, but sometimes hitting the ball dead centre seems to send the ball into a massive curve. Obstacles like sand and long grass will slow the ball down and reduce how far you can hit the ball, but on fairways I found the ball stops rolling far too soon. You have a glide function for aerial play, but at the moment I haven't found a use for it. There's also missiles and shields to pick up to add an extra layer to the gameplay. I could take them or leave them to be honest. It's so easy to get into, but there's tons of room here to really master the game. There's no microtransactions. In-game currency is used to unlock new items in a shop that rotates every so often, as well as a free season pass with items to unlock. I hope the game does well because it's a really neat idea and it will be interesting to see the insane stuff people will be able to do in the future.